Good morning, everybody. So today we are going to explore more of the chickens. Um, and we're going to um, um, make some more um, baby chick feeder. Yeah, we're going to make another baby chick feeder. Because the little one we made the other day works surprisingly well. However, James, tell me about that other chick feeder. That other chick feeder um, had um, poop on it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Those chicks jump on top of it and then they poop. And that is yucky or not yucky? It is yucky. It is yucky. So we're going to make another chick feeder. Not necessarily to avoid the poop, because I don't think there's a way to do that, but to give them some more food. Um, and let me show you what I've got. I went and bought this container right here over at uh, Walmart for about nine bucks. Um, I thought that this would be nice because I am going to make a uh, portable chicken coop thing. And so I want uh, something a little bit smaller. Otherwise, I'd get a big bin. You know, like maybe the size of one of these laundry baskets, like I have with my big chickens, and um, and then use that. That way, I could store 100 pounds of food. But this, I think, this with the other feeder should keep those chicks busy for about a, a week or two. Um, well, maybe just like a week. And so, what I'm going to do first is, hey James, where'd that other little circle go? Do you ever just like sit around and try and find something? I mean, it seems like never ending list oh here it is um but like i have a measuring tape per vehicle and there are pencils everywhere because i just can't keep track of okay cool so first we're going to kind of separate them out and put them down here buddy okay so we want them about like that because let me show you the feeder again and i can i can put the link of this in uh, the comment section so this right here is just a little cover if you want to keep mice or whatever out but you want to keep this just a little bit above the bottom um so probably right there is going to be good so we just have it a little bit like that so that way you want as much above the um feeder as possible above these things so that way they can eat as much food as possible before you have to refill so let me get the drill set up How old are you? Okay, show the camera. Show that. Three. Okay. So, this is not hard. A three-year-old can do it. Now, you are a very advanced three-year-old, right? Yeah, you are. Okay, here you go. Pull the trigger. Keep going. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. There we go. So then we just pull this sucker out. You got it. Okay, so now we're gonna put it, try and get it about the same height. Okay, get ready, pull it. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. Pull it out, pull it out. Okay, now you stand over here. And what's the next step that we do? We put this in here. Yes, so here, let me clean this just a little bit. Trying to get a little plastic chunks. Okay, so now we're going to open this up, dump all the plastic shavings out onto the floor. That'll be fun to clean up while on it. Okay, so now we just shove one of those in here. Let me get another one for you to shove through there. Oh, we need one of those clear circles over there first. Okay, so you're standing right here. So just put this little gasket over it, and that'll help it to be a little bit more waterproof. Just in case you want to have this thing outside, then you could, um, you could just have it outside and it's waterproof. And let me tell you, I've had 50 chicks, 49 actually, but we'll say 50, but really they're 49. I haven't actually counted them recently to see if 
There's still 49, but I haven't seen any dead ones. So, anyway, here, can you put that one on here? Go ahead. Yeah, put it on there and then twist it. There you go, all the way. Perfect. So I've got 49 chicks eating out of a container. I think it's this size or maybe it's a little bit bigger. Anyway, the challenge is we have to refill it, but the chicks don't seem to have a problem you know, getting out of there. And these were brand new chicks, like brand new chicks. We just got them in the mail. So they were brand, brand new. This gasket looks like it's important to get it on really, really tight. Here, stand right here. To get this on really, really good. Otherwise, it's, um, oh, it's just doesn't tighten down. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's stick that down through this middle part right here. Girl, hold on to this for you. Perfect, shove it all the way through. One thing we're gonna have to check out is down in here, see all this space right here? The food that goes in here might not make it all the way over to there. So eventually we might need to put another two of these on this side to get all of that food so that we don't have to clean that out. And then we have a locking lid. Here, show them how it locks. Oh my goodness, secure right there. Locking lid, only entry points are right here. What we're calling, what are we calling them? Um, five. We're calling them five. So these five things right here, <laughs> I like that, um, will be where the chickens eat. And one thing I like about this, I don't know how it's gonna be, but I like how it's clear so we can see how much food is in there. Okay, should we take it out there to the chicks? And put some food in. You think we should put some food in there? Okay. Okay, got my good buddy here. We're lifting it high. Why are we lifting it high? Because my skin is because if we lift it high, she can't get it. Okay, I don't think she's getting it. Hey, girl. Good morning. That's a gorgeous day today. Okay, let's and do it. Tell them that um, orange we came back from a uh, um greenhouse called um the um beach house. Yeah. We came here and then we saw the rest and she was big. Tell them that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay well, I think you did just tell them that. So while we get the food um, for the chicks to put in that feeder, I want to talk to you all a little bit about chickens. I think chickens are a lot of fun and I think that they're pretty easy. Um, like with one of these feeders, if you, um, if you set up the feeder and the water right, you really just need to check on them like once, I don't know how often James, once a week, once every other week. I mean, I check on them more, you know, like every day just because I'm here. But if we're going to go out of town, you know, we only need someone to come over like once every week or so. I think even with these baby chicks, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Even with these baby chicks? Yeah. Yeah? Because we're going to have enough feed for them and enough water and they don't need, they're not like a dog that needs a lot of care and um, emotion. These chickens don't really... I mean, maybe I've seen people posting videos about how their chickens need, you know, emotional love and how they know when they're there and they come and give them a hug and stuff. I haven't seen that with my chickens. They, they just want food and water and um, that's about it. So here, I'm going to move all this food right here and we're going to take it out there and fill up the feeder and see how they like it. Okay, so amazingly, this is almost, I mean, there's still some left in the 50 pound bag. But this is the majority of the 50 pound bag. Here you go, buddy. Can you lock it on? And then we'll, we'll take it in there to the baby chicks and see if they like it. Stay out of here, Julia. 
Here, you pick up that side, and I'll pick up this side, okay? It's pretty heavy. That's okay. Here, pull it in here. Come in. We'll shut the door. We don't have a leash for you, Juliet. Look at these cute birds. They're loving it. Okay, let me put this over here. See how they're enjoying this feeder right here? That feeder's almost empty, though. Yeah. And so we'll see if they like that feeder. Boy, they're excited, aren't they? Oh, man. Looks like our... Uh, <clears throat> this is why, especially with baby chicks, you got to check on them all the time. Looks like our heat lamp broke. Yeah. Look at that one. Already loving it. And that one is great. It's like, where did the heat lamp go? Um, Which one is what? Here, come point it out. Which one is what? That one is gravy sausage. Gravy sausage? And, um, 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 look at him flying. One of them supposed to be Phyllis? Yeah. Which one is gravy sausage? Can you tell me about gravy sausage? That one is gravy sausage. That one's a gold. Like this black and white one's gravy yeah. sausage? What about that black and white one? That just ran over there. Is that one gravy sausage as well? And one of those brown ones are gravy sausage. And one of those brown ones are, um, are, um, Phyllis. Phyllis. Okay, great. Here, let's take this feeder out and fill it up. Probably both of these will be one 50-pound bag, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're standing on the outside now. Check it out. So now we have those two feeders. And it looks like they're embracing both of them. Maybe I should put them up on a block or something to make it easier for them. I'll get a block. Make a little bit higher. Here she is. <laughs> Hopefully one day, Julia, you will be a protector of chickens. And this side, Sophia was a protector. This side, Sophia was a protector. The and. She protect all the things. She did? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great.